You will need to lift the protective rubber cover to access the plug socket. The rubber cover includes a hole that you can use to keep the cable affixed to the housing. To use the cable holder, simply push the cable connector through the rubber cover like this. Now let's press the transducer plug into the display housing. It is very important to make sure the plug is in tight. It should be somewhat difficult to remove when properly seated. It's worth me mentioning that a majority of the calls and emails we receive to our customer support center regarding fish finder issues are related to the improper connection of this transducer plug. Here's a little trick you can do to make sure the plug is in tight. Simply press the plug against the solid object until you hear a clicking sound. When it is properly connected and with the unit powered on, you will hear a very faint ticking sound from the transducer face. You will need to get it right next to your ear to hear.